Hello everyone, I'm here with another video and in this video we will be testing rank 12 Jaguars versus rank 12 Hammers. Now we do know that in a solo fight Jaguar does have the advantage, a significant advantage over Hammers. But uh, we know that in lower ranks the heavy vehicles have less upgrades available and comparatively Hammers Armadillos will definitely have more upgrades available. And so uh, we also know that Jaguars contain uh, four command points and hammers contain two command points and can be produced a lot quicker. So is it possible to beat Jaguar using double number of hammers? And we will be testing it. So before that I'm just showing you the statistics of the Jaguars then we will be coming back into the hammers. Okay, all right now we're back at rank 12 Jaguar. So this is rank 12 max Jaguar looks like so It got 44 armor where the armor of Jaguar is definitely greater in it than this and also the Jaguar have advantage in HP although it has a slightly higher speed Jaguar speed is 50 8 view not bad and cost 130 so even we use the double amount of hammers it will overall cost 20 more resources, uh, 2 hammers will cost 20 more resources than 1 Jaguar and production time definitely less than Jaguar and now here are the statistics so it doesn't deal a bad amount of damage if you compare it with the March mode Jaguar uh, Jaguar does 585 damage against armor 3 and uh, five, uh, around 550 against armor 2 so its damage is uh, uh, slightly low in armor 2 but in armor against armor 3 it has a great deal of less damage capabilities firing range will be only 6 rate of fire 30 good accuracy so that's all for the workshop now let's go into the battlefield okay so here we are starting showdown between one jaguar and one hammer both will be in march mode and both will be running because usually in fight they both uh, fight in running mode and we know a march mode Jaguar is uh, its way tactics is similar that of a hammer and we know rank 12 hammers have more upgrades available than a Jaguar so now we will see the difference between uh, okay so this Jaguar have very poor HP left after battle in march mode all right now this will be one versus one Jaguar will be seize mode in this time and will be using its full potential but we know in seize mode Jaguar loses some of its armor and the question is Jaguar surely be the winner it won even in March mode and it got 55% HP left okay last time we showed you one versus one one hammer versus one seize Jaguar this time will be the same but this time this hammer will come in contact with the Zeus directly without keeping any gaps between them. Now why is it the advantage? Uh, we expected that the Jaguar could get damaged by its own explosive radius but it did not. It actually have even more HP left. 70% HP uh, alive when hammers attack it this way. Alright so here comes the real battle. This time two hammers versus one Jaguar. Okay, now they're both advancing toward this Jaguar. Now who is going to be the winner? One hammer down already. Okay, and okay, this hammer won and having 35% HP left. So two hammer versus one Jaguar, rank 12 max. Hammer wins. All right now so here will be three seized Jaguar versus six hammers and all of the units having gaps with within them okay but still trying to maneuver them I'm not going to use the hammers to command a specific Jaguar they will attack randomly any Jaguar they like and so the winner are hammers so you can see the HP this got all of them got healthy HP so if the numbers of hammers are doubled in Jaguar, so hammers are going to win. Okay, now there will be 5 Jaguar versus 10 hammers. 
I cannot uh, place the hammers in a perfect position right now. In battle, there won't be uh, time for positioning them like that. Okay, now we will see who will win. So far, hammers were winning. And now when the hammers get uh, get contact get into a contact with the jaguars, the neighboring jaguars, the neighboring uh, the neighboring jaguars explosion also damages them. So we saw that this time three hammers surviving. However, this time the jaguars did quite good. Not like three versus six, three jaguars versus six hammers. Uh, this time jaguars did better we don't we will see who will win when the numbers become even more massive okay now five versus ten once again this time in a different formation and i'm keeping the hammers in a proper position this time and the hammers are ordered to go through the gaps between the jaguars and due to the ex excessive firepower and the range hammers suffer the major loss in the before even contacting but when they comes into contact, things get very difficult for the Jaguars. Okay, three hammers surviving. Healthy HP did this time. So it seems that when the Jaguars stay away from the... Uh, when the hammers stay uh, out of the contact of the Jaguars and uh, keep on moving, they perform better. They on on stationary mode on uh, having a contact with the Jaguars. Okay, so okay now we have twenty hammers at the right side and ten hammers, uh, ten Jaguars at the left side. So throughout this fight, we're using double number of hammers, and we're seeing the result because uh, Jaguars are more expensive and hard to produce compared to hammers. Okay, so hammers are ordered this time also to just penetrate through the Jaguars. Okay, and we will see still the second line Jaguars are still surviving. Okay, I'm keeping the hammers on the move. So we have 10 hammers surviving and and half of them have poor HP, others have healthy HP. Alright, so this time this will be a big battle but between 20 Jaguars and 40 Hammers. And now these Jaguars are being spread throughout here. When we will see furthermore, one Cyclone cannot cover this bigger, this much big line. Okay, I can bring it a bit closer. Uh, probably yes now the whole line of the Jaguars and hammers are being covered so now here the hammers are ordered to head forward this one surely missed the command okay so they're penetrating through the Jaguars and now going to the other side okay so if we use them if we command them to go at one side so they're surely going to do a lot okay 18 hammers surviving that's almost 50 percent of the hammer surviving against of uh, 20 with their double number of jaguars see in same number hammers are no match but when they're in double numbers they actually crush the jaguars of course in rank 12 because hammers have more upgrades available in this rank. Uh, in comparison, Jaguars doesn't have that much of its upgrades available. Alright, so now here we have 40 hammers versus 20 seized mode Jaguars. But this time Jaguars and hammers will be in 3 line before it was in 2 line. And we will be showing what is the difference made here. And this time the hammers will also again just pass through this hammers uh, Jaguars okay the hammers are coming and the uh, good thing for the hammers is that they're uh, behind the hammers of the two lines are came without being damaged the first line got severely damaged but the others are quite well 
so I'm not here focusing on a single hammers of course the formation do matters it can turn out in favor of the Jaguars and all the hammers but uh, and three line formation here we have five hammers surviving where in two line formation there were 18 hammers surviving so formation actually makes matter uh, makes a lot difference it can turn the favor in both for both sides all right so now here we have 40 hammers versus 20 jaguars and the jaguars will be in a single line here and hammers will be in a double line since there isn't enough space and there is no point making a single line most of the hammers won't be able to participate if we make a single line of hammers okay so in this formation there will not be any gaps between the jaguars so if the hammers has to pass they have to pass after beating these jaguars and then they can go through before that they will not be able to go through so we will see what difference will it make so this is a much solid, more solid line of defense for ha uh, jaguars when there is no gaps between them okay so considering it uh, okay and if the this way it's not actually fair because most of the jaguars are unable to fire so i'm maneuvering the hammers in a way that the jaguars will be able to fire so if there are no gaps then the jaguars are winning this time for this for the first time in a big battle jaguars are winning so when they're all together they perform better leaving no gaps and also a better a massive explosive radius that also can damage the surrounding hammers okay so this five jaguar remains victorious okay so this will be our final battle this time 40 hammers and three jaguars but this time we will be making less number of lines making them uh, more congested and now we will be seeing who will win will quality win will jaguar win or the quantity of hammers will win okay so it's usual when you attack them i'm thinking that hammers are going to lose it because uh, these are a perfect position for jaguars so it's for jaguars it's all about strategy and positioning if you position them properly you might be able to win so still uh, hammers are doing better i think uh, still many jaguars and hammers are surviving it's an equal going to be a quite interesting fight okay so who is going to win this fight uh okay so this time hammers win and this time nine hammers surviving and two or three of them have half hp one of them have very poor hp other have healthy hp so hammers the number of uh, quantity one in the end but uh, you must you must remember that it's also because of low rank because in high rank the upgrades on jaguars will be increased that will make jaguars more the power difference will increase and jaguars will become more stronger compared to hammers and that's a factor you need to consider and also jaguars are mostly uh, positioning works on jaguars because they have a greater firing radius so it's all about the positioning of the jaguars and hammers of course but uh, hammers have the mobility anyway so that's all for this video uh, i will be ending here